Hello, my name is Kenneth Paul and this is my wood shop. Today we're going to discuss how to use your 12 inch planer as a 12 inch joiner. Most shops, at least the most common shops I see, have a 12 inch uh, planer and a 6 inch joiner. What happens when you have to join boards that are 12 inches or wider? Well, the best thing to do there is to, well, you could use your hand planes, which nothing against that, but when you have a lot of wood to do, that can be time consuming. But you can use your planer as a joiner. Let me show you how. Here's a piece of 12 quarter poplar. You can see that it is cupped and it also has a twist to it. The other side of this piece of 12 quarter poplar has already been jointed. Smooth and flat. How do you accomplish that on a planer? Because if you pass a twisted board through a planer, it'll come out smooth but still twisted. The answer is to use a planer sled. What a planer sled does is let you support the board you're going to plane and stop it from twisting while it's going through so you can actually get a jointed surface. This is two pieces of 1 8 inch masonite, uh, quarter inch masonite with a torsion bar ladder system in between to keep it flat. And then you've got these adjustable platens. These little wheels are just wood with a piece of, uh, with a quarter 20 tenement nut in them. T nut, sorry. And that can raise and lower these supports. The supports can be moved. They're only held in with a little nylon thumb screw. And actually you can remove them totally and just use this flat bed to plane extra thin stock. You can just double stick tape a thin board to this and use this to pass it through your planer should you need to do that. How this works Load your board. There's a small stop on each end. And if you see, this is still rocking. You bring these supports up until they just touch. Do the other side. There he goes. Now, there's no rock in this. Now, when this gets passed through the planer, you'll end up with a flat jointed surface. Once you have one surface, like this board has, you can flip it over and pass it through the joiner, the uh, planer as normal, and you'll end up with flat boards. The uh, plans for this are in uh, volume 23, Issue 137 of Shop Notes Magazine. Take this back off. And like I say, all it is is a series of little slides where you have screwed in a little quarter 20 machine screw and these little wheels just raise and lower the support. There's a little piece of self-adhesive sandpaper to stop things from sliding around. And when you have large boards, like I have some 12 quarter and some 8 quarter uh, lengths of uh, poplar here. Again, I made mine 4 feet long. You can make it any length you need. Uh, I generally work 4 foot and under for this heavy stock. But when you need to take long twisted stock and turn it into flat boards. I mean, you can use a pair of winding sticks in your planes, which is a skill you have to have anyway. But when you've got several boards to do, it's a lot more time consuming. It's a lot more time efficient 
to use a uh, planer sled. You, a lot of people have uh, access to a 12 inch jointer nowadays so why not be able to use it as a jointer. Alright, I hope you uh, found this useful and if you have any questions let me know. Again, my name is Kenneth Paul and this is my woodshop. If you like the work I do and the things I uh, show Feel free to uh, subscribe or like, <laughs> whichever. All right. Thank you very kindly. Have a good night. Bye-bye.